All right, what we've got in this video is finding the determinant of a three by three matrix. Now, this can be done in four easy steps, so I'm gonna do an example and outline each step from there. So, let's start with a three by three matrix. Let's go negative five, negative two, negative four, uh, nine, negative one, six, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. So, our first step when we're finding the determinant is we're going to rewrite the first two columns and we're going to do that directly to the right of our matrix. So these are our first two columns, so we're basically going to like copy and paste to right here. We're just going to go negative 5, negative 2, negative 4, 9, negative 1, and 6. Okay. It's that easy. Just take these two columns, copy and paste them to right here. Now, why we do that is because our second step is we are going to draw diagonals okay, from our uppermost left-hand element. So right here, this negative 5, top left corner. And we're going to draw diagonals, each one containing three elements. So 5 to negative 1 to 2, 9 to 5 to negative 4, and then four to negative two to six. Three diagonals, three by three, three diagonals, each with three numbers in them. Three is a very popular theme in this. So, what we're gonna do is take each element of each diagonal and we're gonna multiply them together. So this first diagonal is gonna be negative five times negative one times two, okay? The next diagonal is gonna be nine times five times negative four. And the last diagonal is going to be 4 times negative 2 times 6, okay? You're going to get three numbers, okay? Your first number is going to be 10 because negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5 times 2 gives us 10. This one's going to give us negative 180 and this one is going to give us negative 48, okay? So once we get these three numbers, we're going to add them together. So 10 plus negative 180 plus negative 48. That is going to give us negative 218. Okay? So rewrite the first two columns. Draw your diagonal starting with the upper left. Take each diagonal, each element, multiply them, and then add these three numbers together. Now, step three. It's just going to be repeat step two, but now we're going to start in the upper right. Okay? So let's rewrite our matrix. Negative five, negative two, negative four, nine, negative one, six, four, five, two, and then we've got our repeated rows. Okay, now you don't have to rewrite your matrix whenever you're doing your problem. I'm just going to rewrite it so that it's clear what our diagonals are going to be. So we're going to start in the upper, let's add an R to that. We're going to start in the upper right hand corner. So we're going to start here at the 9 before we started at the 5. Now we're going to the upper right. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to draw our diagonals. And we're going to get 3 just like before. And just like before, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to multiply these three numbers, these numbers, and these numbers, and we're going to add together those three uh, products. So we've got 9 times negative 4 times 2. And then we've got negative 5 times 5 times 6. And then we've got 4 times negative 1 times negative 4. Now, uh, this product is going to give us negative 36. This one's going to give us negative 150. And this one is going to give us positive 16. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is just like before, we're going to add these three numbers together. This is going to give us negative 170. Okay? So, our steps so far, 
Copy and paste our two columns, draw our diagonals starting with the upper left, and then we switch and draw our diagonals from the upper right. Now, our fourth and final step is to take the sum from step two. So here when we added these three numbers together, we got negative 218. So this is negative 218. And we're gonna subtract step three sum. So step three, when we started with the upper right, we got negative 170. So we're going to subtract negative 170. So negative 218 minus 170 is going to give us negative 48. And that is our determinant of our three by three matrix. So three by three matrices done in four steps.